Hello, hello, once again, thank you for tuning in. And if it's the first time here, my name is Chandra and I hope this message blesses you or somebody out there. And today's topic is your love is important to God. God wants me to come here and tell people that their lives is important to Him and He's got good plans for each and every one of us, all people on earth. And He doesn't want anyone to perish. Let's start by looking in the book of Matthew 16, 25 to 27. It says, For whosoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whosoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange of his soul? But for the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ, will come in the glory of his father with angels then he will reward each according to his work so basically what this verse is telling us is that most people are getting deceived by the enemy out there he lies to them he deceives them to carry all the evil deeds and they do that thinking that he will save their lives while in a natural fact he wants to use them, abuse them, then discard them or kill them. And my father wants people to know that to him, our lives has value and he loves us and our lives are so important. People of God, God wants you to know that your life is important. You, want, you have to want him, only him and rely on him because he's got fantastic plans for you he loves us so much he's always been with us and he's here with us he's helping us and he will always help us regardless even in the times where we didn't know he was always there with us helping us so he also tells me that he can sometimes he chooses who he can bless whenever he wants to and he chooses who he can use in his kingdom or in other different ways because he choose, he can do that. But that doesn't mean that he loves anybody less than another. He loves us equally because we're his children and he has no favorite at all. He wants us to seek him, seek him first wholeheartedly with all our heart. We have to seek his kingdom and his righteousness. And once we've done that, Everything will be added on to us because he knows the desires of our heart and he knows what he wants, what we want. Our father wants us to be happy and he wants us to have a fulfilling life, a life full of joy and substance. And he doesn't want anybody to perish. He doesn't want anybody to have sickness and disease. He's our maker. He wants us to have it all. So now I'm going to talk about the story of a man called Hezekiah. This man was at the bed. He was sick, almost like dying. And he cried for mercy. And God increased the years of his life. That's how much God loves his children and what he's willing. As long as we cry to him, cry for mercy, repent and cry for mercy. And he can do that for each and every one of us. So now let's look at that story of Hezekiah, which is in Isaiah 38, 1 to 5. In those days, Hezekiah was sick and near death. And, and Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die, not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face towards the wall and prayed to the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I pray, I have walked before you in truth and with loyal hearts, and I've done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. And the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, saying, Go and tell Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father, I've heard your prayers, I've seen your tears, and surely I will add, I will add days and 15 more years to your life. 
people of God, that's how much our Father loves us. Even in your sick bed, when you cry unto Him and you remind Him of the good works that you've done, how you've been faithful to Him and what you've done in His name, He's still willing to change His mind and add to your years. Compared to the enemy, who He can use you to carry His work, there are so many people out there that are being used by the enemy. I'll give you an example that what an enemy can do, he can find somebody young, Use that person to, dis let me say a young lady, to destroy destinies of young men. You can sleep with them, collect that soul, destroy that destinies. And once that lady gets older, wrinkly, and he feels like he no longer needs her, he can kill her and bring another young lady. That's how much he doesn't care about anybody's life. But we have to understand that we were created by our father and he created us in his own image and the enemy is not in any way in God's image that's why he hates us so much he gives the father give gave us a dominion over everything on earth and some people that don't even know who they are and he loves us so much so he wants us to choose him and he will give us life abundantly the bible even teaches in the book of Luke 12, 7, that even the hairs of your head are all numbered, but fear not, you are of more value than many sparrows. It shows you that every details of our lives, our Father knows it, and He's there with us, and He cares about everything, our well-being, our desires, our hearts, our everything. And he cares about our lives. So I'm here to tell somebody out there that please do not kill yourself. God values your life and he loves you so much. And I hope you've been blessed by this message. And thank you for watching. If you like, please like and share and subscribe. Thank you so much and God bless you.